Hello community. Today, let's talk about AI and robotics. What can AI do for robotics? Now, our spacecraft have a lot of different sensor equipment, sensor arrays, and the task is easy. Navigate on a two-dimensional sphere on another planet. Now, we have beautiful rovers or spacecraft that can achieve this task. But if you look at current system, you might find that they lack some intelligence. Have a look at the current architecture of our spacecraft. They have a lot of visual and LiDAR and infrared sensors, and they can do a lot of experiments, probe, collect some probe, do some mass spectrometer analysis, but their autonomous driving abilities are not really up to the task. And you might say, hey, on Earth we have autonomous vehicles, look at this. Yeah, but on Earth we have stop sign, we have lane assist. All those objects do not exist on other planets. So we need AI system to cope with unseen effects. And this is the speed of our current AI system on Mars. What we want is this velocity, so we need to integrate robotic control in a closed loop visual system. But why limit ourselves to 2D? Let's go in a three dimensional space. Let's talk about next generation spacecraft that integrate AI and robotics. Because the task we are faced is navigate. Navigate and a dense atmosphere where we have obstacles on our satellite or even if we try to find a perfect vector entry spot to a dense atmosphere of Jupiter. There are a lot of problems ahead of us and we need a combination of large language model, vision transformers and robot control system. So our LLM better understands a lot about atmospheric chemistry, about thermodynamics, everything about physiochemistry reaction and different temperatures. It is able to understand unseen phenomena and it is able to learn. And this ability to be out there somewhere in our solar system, collect new data real time, respond in real time in an absolute autonomous way, we need to understand what we are seeing. We need to understand our infrared, our lighter sensors that come back to us. Maybe we can integrate a digital twin on board of our spacecraft, so we have a robot policy that would enable us to find the best trajectories, the best options for our way forward. So, if you're interested in understanding this technology of today, welcome to my mini-series I will start in this week, where I'll try to explain the technologies of artificial intelligence combined with the latest insights in robotics. Because we're looking out, we're looking out to our next frontiers. Welcome to my mini-series.